Our next customer is actually Tim Brazil, and they decided to move not a little of their business, not half their business, but all their operations to the cloud, and you're going to hear about that next. Tim Brazil is a telecommunications company that serves Brazil under the mission to evolve together with courage and transform technology into freedom. The company is recognized for leading important market movements since the beginning of its operations and standing at the forefront of digital transformation in Brazil, helping enable innovation in agribusiness and other impactful initiatives. Tim remains a leader in 4G coverage in Brazil and a pioneer in 5G activation networks. Welcoming to the stage, Leonardo Capdeville, Chief Technology Information Officer for Tim Brazil. Okay, I'm not gonna let it go even one second. So, all right. You're on premise and you, you decide we're moving everything, not a little, not half, like I told them, everything to the cloud. You have to share with everyone how you did that because you were the first communications company in the world and you've got 60, what, 62 million customers and boom, move the entire thing to the cloud. You, you've got to tell this story. Thank you, thank you. We are very honored about uh, this history because we have to remember that uh, when we take this decision was in 2020. We were in the early stage of the COVID pandemic. So imagine all the uncertainty that uh, we had at that time. But at the same time, we look ahead and uh, we see that the next three years will be the most critical and transformational for our history as a company. Because uh, we were finalizing one M&A discussion to consolidate the market in Brazil, acquiring a new company with a lot of assets, spectrum, towers, including 60 million customers. After that, uh, we were discussing about the 5G auction, what means a lot of opportunity, but uh, some kind of obligations. And looking at that, uh, we see that uh, we need a very, very strong balance sheet to do all this investment. So uh, we have a very interesting uh, statement as our proposal, that is, evolve with courage, transforming technology into freedom. So we decided to move on. And uh, when you look at the results after these three years, it was fantastic. For example, for the m and after to be approved, in just one year, we integrated the both company, all the assets, including migrating all these 16 million subscribers just one year, imagine, uh, without uh, all the facility that we have in the cloud, it will be impossible. Secondly, we were the first company to launch the 5G standalone in Brazil, and until now, we are the leader in this technology. Again, without all the capacity that we have in the cloud environment, it will be impossible. The third is about the financial constraint. Uh, when we start the uh, move to, to cloud, we expected some benefits, but uh, in the end, uh, we have ahead of that. We reduce our TCO in IT infrastructure in more than 30%. 30%, yes, it was fantastic. But uh, last and not least, we improved the performance on the main systems. So for example, in CRM, that is CBO based, we reduced the answer time in more than 50%. We improved our billing performance, and improving our uh, SAP performance too. So it was fantastic. It was good to have this kind of courage on that time. I mean, incredible. Think about it. It's COVID. You've got 5G rolling. You've got acquisitions and all sorts of things going on simultaneously. You move everything to the cloud and you have a TCO improvement of 30%, which we would all kill for, and ultimately better performance, so you serve your customers better. I mean, truly, truly incredible. 
and yet tell a little bit about some of the strategies and some of the challenges of securing so much uh, personal data and all, all sorts of data. Yeah, so you said well, uh, we were the first to do that. So we have to learn with ourselves. So uh, when we started this movement, I guess that the planning was the key, you know? So we work together with our providers, and since the beginning, we involve some kind of uh, special stakeholders like uh, cybersecurity, legal team, compliance, to guarantee that all the risks was evaluated and mitigated. Also the most important and challenge was to change the mindset of our team. The mindset is the key point. And uh, what we show is that, okay guys, we know that now we are operating our own data center, but we will move ahead and we will manage an ecosystem on cloud-based. Imagine all the opportunity that we have there. So I guess that uh, this was what moved the team for this new kind of skill. I, I mean, you think about it, this was really courageous, but what you said was, again, what I've always believed. It's about the mindset. It's about the courage. It's about the leadership. Because you really wouldn't be where you are now if you hadn't done it. You wouldn't have the capacity. You wouldn't be able to move forward the way you're doing it. And it really is a testament to your team. And it's also, of course, been a joy working with you all. And you also leveraged one of our newest and closest partners, Microsoft. And the work we were doing, again, we feel like everything's changed at Oracle because now, again, focusing on what you need, we realize bringing Microsoft in, working closely with us, is going to meet your needs. Maybe you could share sort of your thoughts about how that whole partnership has worked and what it meant to you guys. Sure. Uh, it was a surprise. I should say a gift. <laughs> Because at the beginning, when we were evaluated about the cloud providers, each one has their own capacity and speciality. So, for example, when you look at our CRM, it's CBO based. When you look at other systems, it was based on Windows OS. Some systems was more database oriented, other was front end. So, how to build the best of data? When we received the answer confirming that Microsoft and Oracle was together, was like, wow, now we can choose the best of each technology and to apply that in our system. So it was amazing, was amazing. And uh, one important uh, uh, thing here, and I'd like to make a special thanks for the Oracle Team Brazil, and uh, that is led, led by uh, Luis Meisler, is that Oracle was focused beyond the technology on the customer needs. And it what make the difference totally. Yeah, I appreciate that so much, and thanks for your effort to do that. We were the first case in the region, so we are very proud about that too. And we are so proud to be part of it. And uh, in a moment, I'm going to show you something Louise Meisler actually sent me when you all were done, so you, everyone will see how, how much it was pride for us too. And finally, I guess I get to ask you, now that the cloud transition is really well on your way, talk a little bit about the new opportunities that open up in front of you because you've got this unbelievably performant and cost-effective platform. Well, I guess that the move to cloud was the first step. Imagine, again, talking about freedom. Now, we don't have more to have the concern about the data center facilities, the hardware of SolidSense, the connectivity, and we can be very focused to move our organization to a data-driven organization and to use the best of the AI. With that, we can move ahead and to deliver the best service and products for our customer and for our company. So we really believe that we are prepared now to move and to make this leapfrog for a new kind of organization in a new environment. It's, it's exactly, again, the goal. Benefiting from our economies of scale gives you that elasticity and availability that you need to expand. I mean, this is the perfect partnership, but I do want to share you 
with you and with all of you what Louise sent. I hope they've got a picture. I have it on my phone. That, by the way, is what your empty data center, one of them, looked like. And I can tell you that seeing that, we, I know how proud you are, but I feel like we are so proud too. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you for letting us be part of it. It's really amazing. And thank you for the courage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.